Hey everybody, welcome to a little bit of uh, Retromania Wrestling. I'm going to take you through some footage I just recorded testing the game. Um, we have the latest build we get to build every night from our uh, lead programmer. And he, uh, he sends it out, I uh, build it, and I take a look at it and hand distribute it out to our testers. So I want to take you through a little bit more of Stevie Richards uh, Fitness Center. Uh, you'll see there a, a new... Um, a new arena, I'm not gonna show that today, but a little teaser, teaser there for you. But this is the Stevie Richards Fitness Center. We showed a little bit of this um, in the RGT85. He used a little bit of footage of this in the Nintendo Switch release video that he did. And also, Tony Pizza Guy interviewed me last week, in, or a couple weeks ago, I should say. And he used a little bit of this footage in his video. But we just I just wanted to take you through a little bit more of, of this arena, because it looks really, really cool. Uh, and and not to spoil too much, uh, I'm going to take you through a little bit how the sausage is made with some of this village because it is raw. Obviously, we're still several months a, a, away from release, but I wanted to take you through the Stevie Richards uh, Fitness Gym. So you can see resistant bands training going up, a lot of weightlifters, a lot of guys in this gym without shirts on. Uh, but what are you going to do? Um, anyway, uh, here's uh, a little bug here uh, that we see animal gets sucked outside the ring. So. Irish whip bug on the outside uh, that we found yesterday. We're gonna fix that tonight, hopefully. Um, so it just results in a count out. So you'll see we're, we still have a lot of bugs we're working out. Um, a lot of changes. We're, we're spending most of our time right now working on the gameplay and just to get it feeling really good. Um, as you're playing through this, it, it feels it feels like an old arcade game from the 90s, but it's definitely with a modern feel on top of that you know it's um things you, you obviously didn't have back then but even stuff just simple stuff like this arena just looks incredible uh the pixel artist did a great job uh doing this i'm going to go to the outside a little bit more we're going to go see all the animations that are out here the mirror in the background uh the guy over there talking to a girl hitting on the girl in the bottom right corner uh, you can see a little bit of that Fighting on the outside, uh, which you can do in all, all wrestling games, and a lot of you know, um, it's just uh, I really love this pixel art style. Oh, Hawk off the apron, it's a big clothesline. But I'm a really big fan of the pixel art style, um, and and the arcade kind of wrestling game uh, that just isn't really made much. That combination of two things uh, isn't made at all anymore. And we think uh, a lot of people, and based on our social media uh, response, a lot of you guys feel the same way as we do. Gets a three count right there, Hawk pin an animal. So I've played nothing but Hawk vs. Animal for several months now. Um, we are we have some other uh, artwork ready of a couple other characters we're going to put in the game soon. Um, but we are still, like I said, really concentrating on trying to get the flow of a match down. Uh, so it really feels good to play through um, an entire match from start to finish. And then we'll add, you know, the next thing is adding tag teams and different match types things of that that nature and at the end we're gonna add all the cool moves that we've been working on um that we i'm not going to show any of that today obviously uh, we are working on them in the engine right now we have a lot of moves done already i think the count uh total move count we are gonna end up being roughly around 600 or so moves i believe uh in the game when we're all done all said and done so uh, a lot of cool stuff is coming. Uh, again, this is going to be the first arena that you see in story mode. Uh, we're not going to, no spoilers alert, I'm not going to give away any of the story. Um, but the story is very cool. It's going to take you through um, a one wrestler's kind of journey. Uh, you're going to interact with a lot of different people, a lot of the roster throughout the way. Uh, it's just a very cool story. Um, and you'll play in a lot of different arenas, such as Stevie Richards Fitness. All will have, you know, a kind of a unique feel uh, to them. Like I said, a lot of different moves. Uh, you can't really get a feel for the gameplay, but we are going to be. If any of you uh, on the, you know, local to the Philadelphia area, we are going to be in New Jersey actually on September 15th um, at another wrestling show. I'll put that entertainment up on the screen here uh, while we're watching this, but. You know, we're going to be at another wrestling show. We're going to have a demo for you guys to play the latest build. Um, and you can get a feel for the controls yourself. And, and, and when we get a little closer, we'll get um, 
we'll get some more uh, details on the controls and because we're still tweaking how the systems work right now. Hawk gets another win. Um, how the systems all work right now. So we're making uh, daily. We're making changes to everything. But uh, it does feel really good. It has a nice feel to it, I should say. And um, again, it's a nice balance between our arcade, um, arcade gameplay with a, with a modern feel. So nice back body drop. Uh, we don't have any of the commentary in yet. We're going to make announcements about that shortly. Um, we still have a lot of work to do on the sound effects as well, uh, which we're just kind of, we've been working on a lot of audio tracks the last couple months, and we're going to work on some new sound effects. Uh, really, that's ramping up in the next uh, week or two. A nice reversal into the corner. Um, so, uh, just taking taking you through a little bit of, uh, of what we've been doing. Climbs to the top road. Oh, nobody home. Um, but, uh, you know, just to give you an idea what, it, what typically every, uh, we, we're located in about five different countries, our team, of about, I think we're up to about 17 people uh, working on, on the game as far as artists, programmers, and, um, you know, writing the story, uh, just testers. Uh, we have five new testers in the last couple of weeks that are testing the game every day, finding bugs with it. And then each day we get a build and we go through it from square one. We do every move that we have in the game right now to make sure they're not broken. Uh, go through the different arenas to make sure we didn't break anything as we're fixing it. So, probably boring you with a lot of developer stuff. Or if you are a developer, you already know all this stuff. But it, it's it's this is really a passion project. I really want to stress that. I love these arcade wrestling games growing up, and it's a blast. Just even even the little things that I post on Twitter. Like when we got the first reverse Irish whip, I was so giddy about it. I'm like, oh, it looks awesome. I can't wait to, to play. And to play, it feels good when it happens in the game. Um, so all the little things that are making this game a lot of fun. Um, I think you guys are really going to like it when you get your hands on it. We still have a lot of work to do, don't get me wrong. Obviously, we have a ton of more wrestlers uh, to add. Uh, we haven't finalized our roster completely yet, and we're going to try to pack as much stuff as we can at, uh, at the launch, at the time of launch as we can. But I'm going to start doing these videos uh, maybe every week or two, just to give you guys a feel for those of you who want to see kind of the behind the scenes of what we've been working on, uh, give you a little feel for what we're actually doing. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave comments below. Follow us on social media. All of our links are in uh, the descriptions below. And enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.